people have asked uh, how to play uh, a Knock Need Sally song that I wrote called Blue Self, so I want to uh, touch on that a little bit. Hey, this song came uh, out of a really dark place and uh, uh, actually went to a lot differently. Uh, I was uh, trying to figure out how to get from E to A without sounding like Pearl Jam, basically. Because those guys are... Right? So uh, they're, they're the kings of pedal tones, going back and forth between two chords, uh, you go to even flow, Jeremy, uh, my God, uh, those guys. And so they'll sit in concert and they'll just rock back and forth, you know, for. <laughs> so I was trying to go for a particular feel and not sound like those guys. So, so basically what I did was I came, um, I came up here for an E, right? But then if you, if you look at the kind of E that Jimi Hendrix used to play, where he would come here, he wouldn't play it standard. He would basically take his index finger and see where my index finger is right here, and then my ring finger is here. He would put his index finger where the ring finger was. Okay, so all I'm doing is moving up two frets right here. Then he would then play the notes two frets down. See, that's where all that sound comes from, all that... That uh, little wing, wind cries Mary. Okay, hear how those notes are knocking together? See, that's very cool. See that they're just chattering against each other a little bit. Hope you guys can hear that. Okay, so what I did was I did the same thing: slide down and uh, basically put your ring finger at the A string 11th fret, which is an E. You hear these two together? Which is basically a uh, A flat. Let's say how these two sound together. Kind of a cool overtone. Now, take your index finger and cut and bar everything from your D string down, okay? So, so cover everything from the D string down. So you have that on the tail end of it. So put your ring finger at the 11th fret on the A string. Now play. That's it. I think it's like an E sus2. Not sure what they call it. All I know is it sounds cool. And it gave me that E I was looking for. very sort of boxed in sounding. So basically you'll rock between that E and the A twice with this rhythm. I'm 
talking saw you just the other day I wasn't sure till you turned away I stood there staring gotta put my blue self on the shelf Then uh, when you come, there's a couple solos in it. But uh, when you come solo, play in uh, basically the, this E shape you have right here is uh, is part of the E major pentatonic. So uh, so where your E uh, minor pentatonic or E blues go, slide that whole thing up three frets. Okay, but uh, basically just uh, what I do is where your E is being held down, I start out right there and just go. Everything fits in there. Okay. In uh, all kinds of cool stuff sound good against that. You could do some of the country bands. So you can just play the snot up. When it goes to the A, you could play something in A up here if you wanted to. The, uh, again, you could play major. You could actually play minor against that part of it. Uh, then it goes to D flat, B, and then uh, back to the E. That quirky thing about the end of this song is uh, it will go to uh, D flat, then B, and then it'll drop down to F sharp two times. Back to F sharp. Back to B. Now I go to A. Verses like this go so. Can't believe you let it slip away. You'd rather drink than make my day. Fade to gray. Gotta put my blue cell. song uh, originally was a slide tune if you can believe that and then uh, then sounded like that so it was started talking and that line went dead single word I said so that's what it started out then uh, we thought it had a better feel uh, Rick Gibson actually collaborated on the arrangement on this uh, then we thought it sounded uh, like uh, it should stretch out a little more and, and give it some air and space. So have fun with it. It's called Blue Self by uh, Knock Need Sally. Uh, I wrote that song uh, about, uh, about four years ago at this point. So have fun with it.